Hello everyone, welcome to the Full Moon in Aquarius uh, live broadcast. We are going to talk about uh, the, the energy of the next uh, full moon that is going to happen uh, in the majority of the, in the major part of the world uh, on the 3rd of August, but in some parts on the 4th. Uh, it is a very intense energy and it actually an energy uh, that's going to clear out uh, a lot of what has been happening, a lot of the old, uh, our old uh, past. We're going to be completely renovated after this uh, full moon, also because uh, this is going to support us, uh, to help us enter uh, the energy of the Lion's Gate, which is going to happen on the 8th of August and which is a big uh, uh, lion's portal uh, that represent uh, the entrance to the awakening of our own potential and the uh, uh, highest achievement of the human soul. So what's going to happen at, this, uh, at the time of this full moon? Um, we had uh, three lunation in Cancer and then before we talk about the new nation, we need to understand what has been happening uh, lately because uh, Cancer is the star sign that is associated to house, uh, our house, uh, our actually the, our house in our life is our body and then also is the foundation, uh, the psychological foundation of our own soul and also the genetic inheritance. And also, it represents endings. Uh, um, so, the, we had actually three lunations, which is very unusual, in the same star sign at the time of, uh, of the, let's say, uh, of Sirius, the, end, the, the time where uh, the, uni uh, the Earth goes through Cancer, which is the constellation from which we see we can see Sirius, so our spiritual sun. So energetically, it is uh, quite an intense time, and uh, it actually means uh, it, because Sirius is our spiritual sun, is awakening with has been awakening within us. Uh, uh, the energy of our uh, our soul potential. Um, we 2020 is a very interesting year because in numerology 20 means uh, in esoteric numerology uh, 20 means gestation, but also is the numerological value of the world of the word uh, death in English. So it's a death and is also gestation. <coughs> the opening up uh, the <coughs> sorry the excuse me the opening of a new energy and then the ending of the old world so three lunation there means three deep intense shift shifts happening in that area of our life so uh, this is the even if this this the one we're going to have on Monday is going to be in uh, Leo uh, because it's going we are already in the constellation of Leo. Uh, it's going to be as I wrote uh, in my presentation to this lunation the shaking up uh, of the old way the old belief system in order to uh, which is obsolete uh, which cannot really. Uh, go ahead and no longer uh, uh, which cannot rule our life any longer uh, it's actually the ending of our that old belief system shifting that energy and we need to change it to um, sh um, create a new one which is more in tune with our true soul potential so um, at the time of this lunation we are going to have Uranus uh, uh, at squaring the sun and squaring the moon because uh, we are uh, at uh, in a full moon so the, the sun and the moon are opposite to each other and then Uranus is really in Taurus squaring both planets. Plan the sun is not a planet but symbolically it is a planet. Uranus is actually uh, asking us 
to um, look at our life and reveal, um, reveal a new potential because we, um, we are asked to really make a difference. Uh, to keep to stop uh, nurturing feeding also our own little garden ego consciousness garden individual garden and then actually move into a completely new energy we need to have to go through a total revision of attitude because uh, we are at the beginning of a new cycle of experience and we need to empower ourselves we need to develop our way of looking at us, uh, at us. so they're going to be quite a stormy energy. Uh, uh, Aquarius rules the uh, spleen, pancreas, meridian, which rules uh, our thinking, our rules, uh, uh, is actually an earth meridian, and is, it rules, it commands the extraction of energy from the stomach to the lungs and air from the uh, uh, stomach and from the lung to the lungs where we get the air to form a true human energy so it's going to uh, our thoughts are going to be and intention are going to be completely shaken up because uh, we need to really uh, let go of the old way of being like worry excessive, excessive thinking obsessiveness remorse uh, regret uh, self-doubt to go into more of a new energy of uh, trust, openness, honesty, acceptance, equanimity, equanimity, uh, equanimity. Sorry. Uh, so uh, all our ideas are going to really go through big, big, big change and shift, because we don't have to let your, our determination be stuck in an emotional glamour. So. Thir three on the three eight is actually uh, the breaking through in numerology uh, the, div the split mind but also is allowing us to be guided by the light within and then if the moon occurs on the fourth it's going to be a 48 which is actually breakdown breakthrough so it is quite an alchemical transformation we really asked to stop compromising with our uh, what we feel in our heart you know the month uh, uh, august is a, uh, is the eighth month and then uh, in numerology is about uh, reorganization rethinking alignment of the inner to the outer and then is the tarot card of justice and then in the orosoma uh, color care system it relates to number eight anubis, bottom number eight anubis which is uh, uh, weighing our heart against feathers. So, and the three is our heart bottle. Is the heart bottle is also the, the number associated, uh, numerological associated to the heart and the heart chakra. So uh, it's really a question, a heart question coming up here. And then we need to die to the old idealism <coughs> and way of thinking in order really to uh, live, uh, fully live the true aspect of the self. So Aquarius is uh, a sign of constant mo mu movement and muta mutation. It, uh, it rules our bloodstream, so it is truly related to uh, our life. The bloodstream gives us life as the meridian does and um, it dispenses our spiritual life so uh, we are asked to move from a petty and superficial nature to one of deep purpose and profound conviction uh, so the individual has to become universal which means that our individual nature personality has to learn to work with our soul what we feel in our hearts and we need to start express who we truly are uh, through substances in, into matter. So we are asked not to carry the cross anymore, not to bear what other people think anymore, but to really realize that the other person is helping us uh, uh, achieve, uh, uh, help us shift consciousness, shifting, go through a shifting consciousness and is in a way is our brother on that level. 
Uh, Aquarius rules the ankles and the ankle helps our flute f a foot flex and extend and then uh, it also determines how we, uh, our, we put our flute on the ground. So we need to become aware of where, how we do what we do because uh, uh, they ankles reflect that. Uh, they ask the show how, how we stand, are we stable, are we weak? Uh, what are we standing for? So do we get the right to live our own life? So it's quite uh, a time because uh, we are going to uh, really live, uh, we are really asked to live to our highest potential. And then it's our choice whether we decide to do it, to use it or not. So we don't have to simply be a rebel, be rebellious to what happens, but we actually need to learn to live and, and live and become an example also for others. So it's going to be quite a stormy time. We may be confused. Uh, we, may, we may feel lost because that's the energy, you know, when you go to a stormy time, energy, it's quite intense. So, but what we are really asked to go is we are undergoing a deep metamorphosis. We are, it's really a, a crisis which is going to create it by karmic forces uh, because we need to go through huge catharsis within the stem. And when the storm uh, ends, uh, is going to, when, the, when the storm ends, uh, we are going to really, uh, the light and the, sh and the sun will be completely, uh, will bring completely new energy into our lives. So, we really need to ponder, we are asked to ponder uh, quietly uh, what we truly want and where we want to go. We really need to go, to, uh, go through a really total revision of attitude, as I, as I said, because uh, we really need to listen to our inner, we, we call it the primordial values, who we truly are who we really are, because we go back to the essence, because uh, we need to commit to uh, our true self and not change ourselves because others are asking us to do. It's so. very important for us at this stage to return to simplicity and to inner peace, because what truly deeply rules our life is our heart. And the rulers of Aquarius are actually Uranus on the classical in uh, esoteric astrology, traditional astrology, then there is Jupiter and then the Moon. And Jupiter is about connecting the mind and the heart and the Moon is really reflecting, find the harmony of the heart and the mind in our life. So uh, repolarize, it's a big period of transition, a, a new moving into a new state of consciousness in harmony with the greater whole. So it's a big, huge repolar repolarization. And even if we feel important, even if we feel resentful, re resentful we need to have a lot of faith uh, because uh, we can really exper uh, gain experience on, on, uh, on, uh, at two levels of being and then we really are going to enter a new step into evolution. So look at yourself look at the community and then choose to be yourself, your true self in the community. And remember love, because Aquarius is the energy of life and love. Life teaches us uh, how to love, because as I always say, what is really truly important, because uh, sometimes life experiences in life change us, but what is truly important at this stage is to really remain true, truthful to ourselves. So, Whatever uh, happens, remain truthful to us, yourself. Because the only thing you're going to take with you at the end of this life, as I always said, is how much you loved. Not how much you built, how much money you had, all that, but how much you loved. And that's the only energy that is going to create a different in incarnation into the, in the next life. Focus more on the inside to create the outside and not the outside to shift and change the inside. As you, Vicky Wall, I would like to close with a, a sen affirmation, uh, a quote from Vicky Wall, uh, the founder uh, of Orosoma, of the Orosoma color care system, 
she used to say outside in, inside out. Take whatever happens on the outside and take it in within yourself and get an insight and act upon that. Upon that. It's very important. Uh, the last thing I would like to say, uh, next week I will be I will start teaching online courses in English, uh, especially the seven rays. We are going to look at the energy of the seven main numbers. And then also I'm going to teach uh, 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 esoteric astrology um, in August, in a couple of weeks. So should be in, you'll be interested, you can look at our website, internationalnutritionschool.com. You can, it opens up in Italian, but you can have the English page and uh, you can see information there and get in contact with our school office if you want to join and be with us. Bear in mind that our school office is going to close in uh, next uh, Thursday, uh, so it should, 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 would you like, should you like, if you want to join uh, and be with us and uh, know a bit more about numbers, esoteric numbers uh, and then also astrology, uh, you need to contact the school by next Thursday. So wishing you a wonderful a full moon and then bear in mind that love is the answer. And also the song, all you need is love, but the love for yourself, just love and nothing else. Have a lovely weekend and a wonderful full moon in Aquarius. Bye bye.